Hey guys, I'm Erin and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the anything but books tag. I was tagged to do this tag by Trinity from Portable Magic and I will link her video below. And so the, this tag is all the questions you can answer with anything except books. So for the first question, what is something that you own too many of? This answer is going to be earrings. I own a lot of earrings. I'll insert like a picture or two of my collection. I did not want to bring the whole thing in here to hold up. But I have a lot of dangle earrings, those are my favorite. I also have a lot of stud earrings, like the ones I'm wearing now. Yeah, I just love earrings. I love like little cute fun ones. Most of, most of mine like aren't expensive earrings, they're just like little cute fun ones. Like I have a lot of nerdy ones. Like when I went to Dragon Con two years ago, I think I left with like 12 new pairs of earrings from just one day walking around the vendor shops. So yeah, I love earrings. Nerdy ones, cutesy ones, fun ones. Like the ones I'm wearing now are little Lego studs. So yeah, that's... The thing I collect other than books, I suppose, is earrings, so yeah. Question two, what is something you do besides reading that you do for fun? And so for this one, I'm going to say, there's, I have several hobbies, but I'm choosing one and that's gonna be watching baseball. I love baseball. You may or may not have noticed, I've definitely worn a baseball jersey a couple of times when filming videos, because sometimes I film videos after going to games, because um, I live in a major city that has a team that I root for. So I've, I've been to many games and I just love it. I love baseball so much. Easily, definitely my favorite sport, which wasn't always true. I didn't get into baseball until only a couple years ago, when I was in college and I had a lot of friends that were really into it. So I got really into it. And yeah, I just love it so much. I'm pretty sad right now because there's no baseball and I have to wait until the spring for more baseball. And yeah, there's, there's a baseball shaped hole in my heart right now while I wait for the off season to be over. But yeah, I love baseball. And I root for the Atlanta Braves, so that's that's my that's my team. So um, pretty good year. We did run the World Series this year. So, you know, it was a good year for baseball. So um, question three, what is something special or important that is on your nightstand? So for this one, my answer is my engagement ring. <laughs> so I'm, I kind of got out of the, well, so I'm married first of all, so I do wear a wedding ring every day, but I got out of the habit of wearing my engagement ring once COVID hit, cause I stopped going out and I kind of just like stopped putting it on just to wear like around the apartment. Partially cause I also many days would just like, <laughs> would just wear pajamas all day. And so I keep it on my, in my nightstand. So this is what it looks like just as a little this is what it, what it looks like and so it's kind of tall as well and so now that I have another ring to wear ring to wear I also just like like having the ring that's flat on my hand for like just like day to day and so I will still wear my engagement ring if I'm like going out anywhere anywhere that I'm like putting on nicer clothes um any fancy events looking nice but like just day to day around the house or even just to work I usually don't put it on every day but I do still like it I, I assure my husband one day I was like I swear it's not because I don't like it because I do love it but <laughs> I just don't feel like wearing it every day. So I keep it on my nightstand. <laughs> Question four, what is something you buy at bookstores other than books? So I do not often buy things at bookstores that are not books, but when I do, I do occasionally buy board games and that's usually from Barnes and Noble. If I go to like, there's still a couple used bookstores in my area that I'll go to and I don't buy anything there that's not books, but if I go to Barnes and Noble, I will very occasionally buy board games. My husband and I like playing board games and sometimes the games we like are like fairly mainstream popular games and you can often find some of those at Barnes and Noble. It's closer for us to go to a Barnes and Noble to get one than to go to our um, local game store, which we'll go to if it's a slightly more niche game than what Barnes and Noble has. But for any popular ones, it's definitely easier to just hop over to Barnes and Noble and get it. So. Um, on the rare occasions, I don't buy books at a, or I buy something other than books at a bookstore. That is what I am buying. Question five, what is a fun gift you've received from a friend other than books? So for this one, I'm saying my dice bag that I use for D&D. So that's another hobby I have is I play D&D once a week. Well, once most weeks sometimes. We don't play every week, but once most weeks. And so I have this really fun Star Wars dice bag that my friend gave me for Christmas two years ago, I think, that I love. I think it's super cute. Also, bonus gift on this bag is this pen that says world's okay as fighter. Um, my group has been playing the same campaign for just under five years now, It'll be five years in January. And so our um, DM gave us a present. When did he give us these? I think he gave us these once we started meeting in person again this year, I think, where he, we all have a different pin that says world's okay as in whatever class we play. And so I'm a fighter. So mine says world's okay as fighter. So a little bonus gift on there, but yeah, I think this dice bag is just super cute. So and then the last question, what is a YouTube channel that you watch that is not related to books? So I subscribe to three non-book related YouTube channels. And so two of them are music related. And one is a channel called Grady Smith. He is a, I guess, cr critic, 
commentator, reviewer of country music, and so country music is what I listen to that's most, 95% of the time I listen to music, it's country music. I listen to some other stuff occasionally, but mostly country music, and so I really like his channel. I like the way he talks about music and does reviews. He also has a very similar taste to mine, and so I also enjoy that, getting like reviews from someone who has very overlapping tastes with mine, and he also listens to more independent music than I do. I definitely tend, while I don't like everything on the radio, I don't tend to find much stuff off the radio. Just when I listen to stuff, it's what I like from the radio. And then, um, so he has, he kind of likes the same people from the radio, but then I also hear about a lot of like independent artists from him that I have not heard of before. Just because I just don't spend a ton of time searching out new artists like he does. So anyway, so I like him a lot. And then the other music related channel I listen to is my favorite artist. I just follow his like official page for like whenever he posts new songs or new music videos. And that's Eric Church, who is, as you can probably guess, a country artist. And he's my long time, like he's been my number one favorite artist for probably 10 years now, maybe longer. Um, ever since I really started listening to country music, he's always been number one. So I really, really like his music. And so the third channel I follow is baseball related. It's called John Boy Media. And so John Boy, he's this guy who does, he does a lot of stuff on his channel now. Like they've expanded a lot. They do a lot of kind of podcasts or like talk shows. And I don't watch most of those. I mostly just watch his breakdown videos. And so he'll do, during baseball season, it's usually baseball videos but then in the off season he'll do like other random sports videos but he'll take like a three to five minute clip of something that happened in a sports game again usually baseball but off season other stuff and it could be it could be a range of things it could be like a really weird play it could be something funny it could be kind of anything and he'll do like a breakdown of it or he'll do he'll like explain what's happening he'll also have commentary on i think he's pretty funny he also does pretty funny lip pretty pretty accurate lip reading too and i just think those are super entertaining and yeah so i mostly watch him for his baseball breakdowns so i will link those channels below if you're interested in any of that um and yeah so that was the anything but books tag and i will see you in my next video